Move out the way, please don't be a hero. Bling blow, she no skateboard free. Bling blow, she no skateboard free. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome all. <laughs> uh, today we're playing a game. You might already know what it is. It's up on the screen. Um, but I'm really excited to get into it, so let's just watch the intro in here. Are you enjoying the flight on Pelican Sam Airlines, Freddy? A lot, Sam. Gosh, Luther, it was... Sometimes it glitches. I hope that's not in the video. Really great of your Uncle Blenny to invite us to the Founders Day Festival. Well, Uncle Blenny says that I'm his favorite nephew. And you know I never take a special trip like this without my best friend, Freddy Fish. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Haven't played these games in so long, but uh, I remember them being just so amazing. It's a blast to the past. Yes, we will. Down to the bottom of the sea. Right, just go off on your own, I guess. Okay, that so, looks like yeah. something expensive. Every game they have them a little bit different, hey. like each um, I almost lost conch a thing. Bin. Not trying that again. Not without something to keep that clam from snapping shut. Yeah, so they're trying to get this so that they can give it to the conch thing. So they recognize it, I guess. That's how they think to it. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what will happen if I pull this plug. He's a thinker. <laughs> Great job! I knew you could pull it off! Get it? Pull? Off? Oh, Luther! Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I wish they would talk like that all the time. Just people in general. I just love the, the way they talk in these. It's so cute. <laughs> Luther! Freddy! Over here! Uncle Blenny? Uncle Blenny! What are you doing in jail? Well, Luther, the great conch shell was stolen. The Founders Day good. Festival can't start without it. Since I'm the grand exalted keeper of the conch, I'm the prime suspect. But I didn't do it. Here, here's a diagram of the conch shell before it was taken. The priceless conch had three golden pipes, but they may have fallen out. And here's a picture of all the people who were nearby when the crime happened. There's Gil Barker, Claw, Nadine the Narwhal, Rosie Pearl, Pierre the Tailor, and Horst Fetters the Tourist. Who do you guys think it'll be? I think it's gonna be the shark dude. Can't your dogfish sniff out the teeth? Old soggy snipper ain't what it used to be. <laughs> but if he can get the three golden pipes, he can pick up the scent. We'll find the three golden pipes, Uncle Blenny. You're my only hope, nephew. You and your friend, Freddy Fish. Oh, that's so cute. It's very sad, but we will get him out. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go here, Sway. Okay, and, uh, enemy in the manual. Never mind. Um, <laughs> let's go up here first. Guy. Excuse me, sir, but are you a tailor? Not just a tailor. I am Pierre the tailor. And Pierre men sing up better than nude. So if something was torn into a million billion teensy little pieces, could you mend it together? Be sure. With my eyes closed, floating on my head, and with both fins tied behind my back. Hmm. That's it. That's it. A uh, good thing to know if we need that for reference. Let's check out his little uh, fashion he has in here. 
have to interact with everything. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I want Freddy. There we go. Freddy is up for sale. Get your merch. Uh, this way is deeper, I think. So let's go this way. Step right up, gills and buoys, for the most amazing carnival under the sea. You remember the terrific tumble tubes ride last year? Well, mm -hmm. what we've got in store for you this year mm -hmm. is even better. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Uh, can we just do? Yes, sir, you want world peace. Yes, sir, you want bulging pectoral fins and thin thighs. Well, tuck nuggies, you won't get that here. But for only four purple sea urchins, what you will get is a chance to prove your skill and have a thrill at Gil Barker's world famous Just floating fun. <laughs> it's Just... the perfect game for a fish with a sharp eye and a steady fin. That sounds like you, Freddy. So she's not only cute, but she can also shoot. Well, let's have four purple sea urchins and you can show us your stuff. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not too bad of a sub suspect, but. Yeah, maybe I'm being too stereotypical a shark. She sharks the bad guys, but... Hurry, hurry, guppies and gars, ladies and germs, step right up to Gil Barker's world-famous floating pond. Just four purple sea urchins get you inside. That's right, if you've got four purple sea urchins and you can hit the broad side of a barge, you can be a big winner. Hey, I hit the broad side of a barge just the other day. <laughs> yes, but you ran into it head first. And boy, did that ever hurt. Oh jeez, Luther. <laughs> okay, so I guess we have to get the purple sea urchins. Is I think part of what I heard. Um, we'll come back to that guy. Wow, it's a grandma grouper fortune teller machine. I've heard about these. Let's see if any of this makes sense to us. To me. The tongue is the enemy of the neck. What does that mean? I think it means that you shouldn't say things that could get you into big trouble. Luther, I never realized you were so wise. Yeah, I'm a real wise guy, all right. Not to mention an expert at getting into big trouble. <laughs> they just totally outdo me, like, with all their comments and everything. It's so cute. I couldn't figure it out. Okay, let's see what this lady is again. Hard work pays off. Can't argue with that. Mm-hmm. Kids these days. They brought a carnival organ in for the Founders Day Festival. I love music. Okay. I think I gotta... Okay, um, so if I move it over, maybe four... Look! It's one of the golden pipes! Oh. You're right! But how can we get it out of that glass case? Looks like a tough case to crack, if you ask me. Oh, Luther. Um... So purple is minus. So minus one. Those purple sponges move the golden pipe farther away from us. And then I'll do... A blue, <laughs> a blue uh, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, six. Maybe we can get the golden pipe past that rubber. St Those blue sponges move the golden pipe closer to us. Minus two. I don't think that's the way we want to go. Well, maybe it will be the second way. Plan B. Okay. Um, what do you guys think? Um, do it just over two. Do it, um, yeah, two. It looks like the orange sponges. Um. We should probably try a different. Hmm, we're not moving the golden pipe very fast. By three. Sorry. Keep it up, Sorry. and we'll have that golden <laughs> pipe out in no time. Oh, I'm just high on life. I'm just high on life right now. <laughs> okay. Um. Ones. 
three. Great. And then we'll do, how do we get past? There's the six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'll try six. Way to go! Oh, so we just one, two. Yeah, I went through past all those. Okay. And then. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Freddy, you smell that? What is it? Ah, the sweet smell of success. Oh, so now we need just two more golden pipes for old Soggy to pick up the and scent. That's absolutely right. Okay, can we go this way? Nothing that way. I thought there was like a dark cave. Okay, let's head out. Nobody knows the, the trouble, trouble I, I see. see. Nobody knows my sorrow. <laughs> I wonder how many golden pipes Freddy I know that song now. off of this. It's just like I something sure I used to sing all the time right. whenever I was feeling <sighs> like one of those really bad days. Maybe not in jail, but you know. <laughs> okay. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, hi, yo. Yo, yo. Come say hi to everyone. Yoshi. Yoshi. Hug and a kiss. Yeah, you can climb up there now. Yeah, let's be meowing around. Okay, and oh, is there any purple sand urchins? Sand urchins? <laughs> sea urchins in there? I don't think that's a lisp. I think that's just like a brain problem I have. Look, Freddy, I found a purple sea urchin. Toss it over here, and I'll hang on to it for later. Yippee-ki-yay! <laughs> okay. Oh, I just love this game. It's so fun. I'm a baby. <laughs> um, okay, next, next to the next to the next. <laughs> okay, shuffle. Look, Luther, a plastic shovel. We could use it to dig a hole all the way to the other side of the world. Whatever you say, Luther. Yeah. Well, unless you dug really far, you could probably get to the Earth's core. And then, yeah, but that is his dream, I guess, one day. Can we go down? No, can't go down. Just going this way. Oh, I didn't even talk to her. It's all over the place. <laughs> okay, I don't know if that was a weird noise or not. I'll have to see if I can take it out after. Talk. Hey, you're kind of cute. Yikes. So do you think that a narwhal and a little green fish can find happiness together? Nope. <laughs> Whoa. What do they not like about her? Is it just the whole facade? Have they met before in the past? What's going Nadine, on there? are you the one who stole the oh. great conch shell? I love the festival. Taking the great conch shell would ruin it. I would never I do I mean, they that. have pretty good acting skills. She makes pretty eyes are just blinking like normally and everything so anyways let's get on with the quest our adventure quest be fun if someone asked me to do this one day when i want to go down to the bottom of the sea i go swim around at the bottom of the sea won't you come join me go at the bottom of the sea down Let's interact with some stuff. Tell me which one you like the most, too. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to mess with me. Don't go swimming too close to my door down in the deep blue sea. <laughs> I realize I'm not talking. I'm a finny fish I, I can't sing. Is worse I wish I could. Than his bark will my boyfriend says I can be. sing, but, you know, it's just a mediocre Don't thing. Don't go sneaking around the ocean floor unless you want to mess, mess with, with me. me. 
Might be stuck in my head forever. Every once in a while. Well, I down deep into the murky sea. Well, that's where you run into me. I'm a cool catfish with an attitude. I got plenty of style to make you feel so cool. Come take a swim in the blue. I'll make you feel so cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was only feeling that. Like, that's just my... I can move to that. I think. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, I'm the big old fish who's always swimming to and fro. I always eat my seaweed because it helps me grow. Someday I'll be so big and strong I'll never have to fear. But for now I'm a little fishy who is hiding under here. Okay, and the last one. And I think that song is a yeah, that's a mushy song. Uh, I liked. I like, I'm not gonna tell him again. I like the first one, the, Egypt, Egypt, the Egyptian one, and then I also like the baby one. Cause it's so damn cute and deserves recognition. Um. Oh no! How are we gonna get past here? Oh no! Oh, I know. What do you want? Whoa. Look, you? Luther! The doorway's clear! Swell! Swell. Ooh, I hope there's one in here. No, Freddy, it's the terrific tumble tubes! I won't fit in these tubes, Luther, but you can go. You can try. Okay. Reverse. I think this makes you go through the tubes twice. Oh yeah, and I was an idiot last time and I, when I was playing The Sims games and I didn't like get any headphones in when I was playing. And I was recording on my phone and I don't even want to tell you how long I was trying to edit those to get <laughs> correctly. But you can you can kind of just put two and two together and understand what I mean. But Oh crap, we weren't looking for sea urchins. Go back! I'm not dumb then, I'm just insane. Oh. Okay, and then, I already went in there. We're all clear. Is there one at the beginning? Hmm, let's go check it out. Yes, there is! <laughs> Luther, what word do the letters U-R-C-H-I-N spell? A pop quiz? Can't think. Brain failing. Ah! Oh. <laughs> There's 
so silly. They spell urchin, as in, we found a purple sea urchin. <laughs> oh, fishies. Fishy, fishy, fishies. I want to be friends with them. I just look at they got music playing. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go this way. <laughs> Oh, I see. We're gonna have to get that for the uh, the clam to get that thing out. But Sir, about that shim sham jimity jam <laughs> clapper gapper in your bag? We'll have to find a way to communicate better. Yeah. Hi there. Here's where knowing a foreign language would really come in handy. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Okay, let's go down here. What's this? A wallet? Hey, look! There are loads of orange sea urchins in this wallet. We're rich, rich, rich! This wallet doesn't belong to us, Luther. According to this identification card, it belongs to someone who used to be the Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. I'll hold on to it until we can find the owner. Hmm. <laughs> Look, that be Freddy, your uncle? it's a Snoopy Pop. No, it's not. It's a purple sea urchin. I knew that. I just like to say Snoopy Pop. <laughs> Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. Snoopy Pop. You can get away with that because you're like SK. <laughs> Did I press that? I'm just going to interact with some stuff. You want to sit your arse on there. Head her down to what she looks like hell. Hey, get out of the bullies club. Do we want to talk to the sky more? Being a bully means never having to say you're sorry. I feel sorry for bullies because inside I don't think they're very happy. Yeah, that's pretty true. Whole basis of the bully, stereotypical thing of a bully. He's sweet. He's just sad because he's ugly and he doesn't know how to deal with it. It's okay. You're okay. <laughs> I forgot to mention it to you guys too though, but I changed my YouTube uh, name, so I go by Cabbage Patchy now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I would call my fans, but uh, I'm pretty hyped about it. Um, both of them just have to do with the earth, and I actually got the name from my boyfriend. I told him to start calling me that, and then I went on for that, and <laughs> so that's how it, how, it, how it goes now. But uh, let's keep continuing. I think this... Oh, we came from this way, right? Okay, let's go this way. Okay, let's go up to the waterfall. I'm surprised how much I just know exactly where everything is in this game, like I, I did like 10 years ago. Um, maybe it was earlier than that. I think I played this game like five years ago, a bunch of these. Hi, so Luther. Help me dig out this old hollow log and pull it into the water. Okie dokie. Alright! 
Come on, Luther. Help me cool. push this log. If I had well, I'm not pushy by nature, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh. We're really making headway. Keep pushing. Push. Oh, I have to do it with you. Okay, I'm pushing with you. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to grunt on screen. And we'll <laughs> that would have be really this weird. log in position. <laughs> I was thinking about it. <laughs> I just had a brainstorm. This old hollow log might help us get through the waterfall. You should try having brainstorms on a more regular basis. <laughs> oh. Fish are friends, fish aren't food. Maybe I should go by that more often because I'm I'm a vegetarian but I I'm a, a pescatarian, so I still um so I do eat fish, just not other meat. Um <laughs> so I feel really bad playing this game and finding them all cute and everything and it's just got me thinking like do fish really have like I don't know like feelings and stuff like that like do they get attached to things like it's just like making me think like should I get fish out of my diet like I don't know it just makes me feel really guilty and I don't want any fish abuse especially in like fish tanks and stuff like that Okay, anyways, I'm back. <laughs> Look at her with the little baby bird. Okay, it's gonna freeze. Okay, let's go down here. Ooh, that looks slimy. Sneaky slimy. Hi, folks, and welcome to the world famous Luau Show where we bring you everything from the dramatic to the acrobatic, and it's all 100% aquatic. So now, ladies, gentlefish, and guppies, prepare to be amused and amazed. Okay, let's talk to her first. I'm delighted that you could come to my world-famous luau show. We're glad we could come too, Rosie. Rosie, it's nice that you can enjoy the show with us. Thanks. And I'm glad you enjoy the show. And I'm really weirded out you asked me twice. I, yeah, let's start with this. Uh, okay, here we go. Talk to her after. Oh my god, there's mermaids in this game. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the bigger thing that's... Like, that's a mermaid. This is an alternate reality where they have mermaids. I'm gonna live in this game. Okay, next one. That. Come on, everybody, let's put those fins together. That's it. Yeah. Uh, that, that, uh, yeah, that watermelon had a face on him. <laughs> I guess watermelon is like sausage party type thing in this game. <laughs> I don't want to see it again. It's this one. So lighten everyone up. I don't know how to dance to this. It's like looking at shoulders twitch. <laughs> so what do you think of the show so far? Alright. It's alright. <laughs> okay. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, she did have a point. <laughs> that's just kind of well, that's all because one. she was fat. Yeah, Honestly, fat that's why I didn't take the photos of her. Jesus, they even deal with that fatophobia in the fish sea. Uh, 
is an ant. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was so confused. Oh no. Oh, okay. Okay. So I keep pressing him and he does some different tricks. Let's try another one. Come on, folks. Let's hear it. Show him that you love him. Oh, okay, I pressed the next one. Oh, okay. Um, that one. Slappy clap. Um, make sure we get all of them on here. Whoa. <laughs> gentle now, gentle. <laughs> hey, let's make some noise out there. Yeah, we check out the doo doo. Oh, foreign fish. So what do you think of the I bet that would have been a good far. joke. All right. I'm a joke. One. Oh, this one's the worst. You know, it's the worst to the bed, to the bed, to the back. And <laughs> oh, you get the fuck off stage, man! He's doing a performance. Give it up, folks! <laughs> it had to be done. Someone had to do it. There, come on. Yeah. Okay. Proceed upstairs. Do we have to talk to her about anything else? I'm delighted that you could come to my world famous luau show. We're glad we could come too, Rosie. Yeah, me too, Rosie. Luther would say. I think Luther gets suspicious of every person he talks to. But, um, I think most of our troubles, maybe the wallets for that guy. Oh, yeah, the guy with the backpack? That's what I'm thinking. What are you guys thinking? Thinking I'm right? Oh, it's up there. It's up there! We need the monkey girl. Let's go get her. Are you okay? I'd be better if my boat hadn't sprung a leak. I had to strike my sail and use it to plug the hole. Without a sail to catch the wind, I'm stuck out here. <sighs> that island has beautiful looking banana trees. I wish I could get over there. Hmm, perhaps we could find something to stuff in the hole so you could hoist your sail. Oh, that yeah. would be stupendous. Then I could get moving again. Oh, I didn't grab the little thing at the beginning to pull the plug. Okay, we'll come back here with everything. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Chris didn't play the smart way. Oh, there's just the air dread. I'm awful. <laughs> Go back! Nicely. Hey, Luther! Do you see what I see? Purple sea urchin! See you! It's 
an interesting one. Because uh, I know you give the, like, the, um, the mirror to that, like, crab guy to scare him, but he doesn't have anything we need from him, so I might just do that as a side mission <laughs> or something. Okay. the great conch shell, didn't you? Oh, I absolutely did not take it. I was setting up Gilbach as world-famous floating fun all day. And if you don't believe what I say, why not come inside and play? Uh, maybe later. We got one. Here's a purple sea urchin. <laughs> and we got a... That's just one purple a... sea urchin. I need three more before you guys get through the door. <laughs> Betty. Oh, life. Okay. It's for you. Another purple sea urchin for you. Purple sea urchin number two, but that ain't gonna do. Ooh. Two purple Ooh. sea urchins more. Bring the total to four. That's why I said it before he did. Tired of going belly up at parties? Is scorn the only thing you spawn? Well, don't get in a snit when you can score a hit here at Gil Parker's floating pond. If you've got four purple sea urchins, just fork no. over the dough and in you go. You'll come out a winner or my name isn't Broccoli Bob. But your name isn't Broccoli Bob. Don't bother me with details, son. Bother me. Bother Here's me. another purple sea urchin. That was quite an interesting conversation that we had there. We could have That's three a purple more, sea urchins, and I'm one away from having on enough to let you play. Time bomb crisis. Here's our last purple sea urchin. Four purple sea urchins, precisely the price of admission. And fortunately for you, too, we're having a special. For every little yellow fish that pays admission, a little green fish gets in absolutely free. Oh, did I ever hit this on the right day? Height. <laughs> Flip the critters up the wall. When enough of the same critters touch each other, they'll go away. If you use all the critters in the tube, I'm you'll ready. advance to a new I'm ready. level. I'm ready. I'm ready. ready. Watch ready, out. Ready, ready, ready. When the critters move above the bar, they won't go away. There. What? What? It's not working. Sometimes to like have my mouse at the bottom and then make it work. It's weird. But they thought they could get me. It's a trick. It scams people. Okay. Oh no. Oh, they're all there. I always forget that they can go back after. Um, oh, nice. No mistakes here. Just happy accidents. In. I can't talk right now. Mm, it's gonna be all the crab. I did eight levels. 
<laughs> and it was all for nothing. Oh, I just wanted that mirror, but they didn't give it to you, so. Well, I'm stupid. Okay, um, where were we last? I think we are going, oh, let's go get a book from that guy so it can translate. Urchins for that. Pick this up. I had better hold on to this. You just never know when a drain plug might come in handy. Oh, just finding little bits and stuff that you might need. <laughs> I can't stop saying all. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's talk. Hey, Pelican Sam. What's the difference between a spider monkey and a can of green beans? I don't know, Looper. Nothing personal, but if you don't know, I'd say you have a little problem there, Sam. <laughs> oh, there will be God. visitors from around the world at the Founders Day Festival. That foreign language phrase book could really come in handy. Right as rain, Freddy, it's all yours. As soon as you give me one R and C urchin, that is. Sam, did you lose a wallet? Gosh, Freddy, I sure didn't. I'm telling you, Freddy, the wallet doesn't belong to anyone. We should just keep it. Luther, when will you ever learn? Thank you for flying Pelican Fam Airlines, the airline that never eats its customers. I have to go find an each Wouldn't it be a nicer place if everyone spoke the same language? Maybe, but differences among fish make the world a richer place, Luther. Okay. And I'd be richer if you gave me one or a sea urchin for this foreign language phrase book. One orange sea urchin? Is that what you said? Okay. I'm just gonna be looking for sea urchins in general. So we can't get that one right now. Um, how do I... Talk to this guy. I have to give a wallet back to someone. Let's go this way. Okay. Okay, so. Hmm. Who did it say it belonged to? Maybe it was. The person in jail, the Uncle Lin. I'd pluck her bone first. And then we'll go all the way back. Wow. I'm in shorts. It's pretty. Oh, the weather's getting pretty cold out here. It was hipping up, <laughs> going up the hill, and then it peaked, and then everything just crashed down. But that's our weather right now. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it just went from cold to hot in the less, like, um, intense way of saying that, but. Okay, let's fix up this boat. There you go. My poor leaking boat. Don't worry, Magenta. We'll have your problem solved in a snap. Okay, Luther. Let her rip. Good news! The whole flood! Uh, the bad news is I ripped your sail badly. No, it looks like you ripped it quite well. Don't worry, Magenta. <laughs> we'll get your sail fixed. Quite. We promise. We can go back here. I think at least the last two play area that I have. Guy in the French dude. There you go. Monsieur Pierre, do you think you can mend our sail for us? Oui, oui. Now observe, mere mortals, as the great Pierre creates from the tattered rag the nautical fashion statement. Voila! C'est fini! Fini! Well, he said to say it. Sheesh! Fini! <laughs> 
Okay, let's keep going. Here's your sail, madame. I want to see happy the happy monkey. Hey, Magenta! We've brought you something you've really wanted. A this banana a... split? No, it's the sail for your boat. Good as new. Oh, how animals would have evolved into such a beautiful society if humans didn't show up and ruin everything. Wow, I'm impressed. They evolved with instead better, of us. I'm moving. We could be their pets. It would be a world of peace. Oh, it's a lovely island and such beautiful banana trees. Thanks for your help. Thank you. Can we ask you a favor now? Could you climb That's the only reason we do it. <laughs> that golden pipe? No, no, no. It's no. a pleasure. No, 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 no. They would never do that. Freddy. I was saying it'd be a, like a perfect world. They have no Thanks crime. Thanks a lot, Magenta. Nothing. Just favor after favor. All we need is one more golden pipe, and old Doggy can sniff out the feet. Is it true that we're not going to have a festival? Is it, Mommy? Gee, I hope they can find the comp show so we can have a festival. I've waited all year. It's okay, Lewis. We're gonna be okay. Okay. Um. Say. I don't know. Uh, off with the adventure. Let's go talk to, um, the person in jail, Uncle Lenny. for your trouble. Thanks a lot. Perfect, Just one. perfect. Hello, no, sir. Thank you. No hiccups in the in Thank the you, Uncle Blanny. <laughs> Simulation. Oh, this is... Should, make one? should I print one for my mom? Yeah. It's her birthday, her 50th birthday the other, the other day. Are you sure you want to print? Okay, it said it printed. This is from my mom. <laughs> yeah, she just had her 50th recently, so, um, yeah. Okay, okay, okay then. Okay. Printed a picture off from my mom. I hope she likes it. Here we go. Um, now we just gotta go to... to the bug. Up to bug. Don't touch the boat. Don't touch the boat. Don't touch the butt. Okay. This one will be fun. <laughs> Here. Here's the go. How would you here. like to sell that foreign language phrase book for one orange sea urchin, Sam? I'd rather get a snack, but an orange sea urchin will do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't trip me out there. I got you what you got. Thanks a lot, Sam. We'll put this to good use. Yes, we will. Thank you. 
Sometimes if you need stuff, just go ask your neighbor. You know, don't got the salt or pepper, just go over and have a conversation and just meet your neighbor there. <laughs> I can't touch it, it's so close. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> That thing is usually four. It's kind of confusing. Okay. Why did you steal the great conch shell? No, no, Freddy Bacchus and Raven and Navarra. But he was here, but we used to be a bone, they forced not. Sorry, I didn't. <laughs> Do you I have a clue who stole the great conch shell? Freddy Bacchus and Raven and Navarra. But he was here, but we used to be a bone, they forced not. Sorry, I didn't. Freddy, I can't understand a word that foreign tourist is saying. Okay. Maybe we can find the language he's speaking in this foreign language phrase book. I tried. <clears throat> the flag that's selected in the foreign language phrase book doesn't match the flag on this bag. Maybe I should pick a different flag. Oh, I see. Okay, sorry, it was just the like... flag that's selected in the foreign language phrase book matches the flag on this bag. The Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's in your bag. Pratica Masit, everything. So, the Shim Sham Jimmy Jam Clapper Gapper that's been giving horse feathers so much trouble is what you want? I'd be glad to give you to it. Surface comes from a long way, I guess. Or it could just be Thank you, Mr. Feather, sir. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Feather's fur. Okay. He doesn't have fur. Now. <laughs> Sorry if this Let's Play is going by really slow. I'm usually pretty good at these. Speedy Gonzales. A shim sham jimmy jam clapper gapper will keep that clam from snapping shut. Okay, Luther, I'm gonna need your help. Right oh, Freddy! <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I got a golden pipe! I don't care what anyone else says, you're a good fish. <laughs> we did it, Freddy! Aww. We found all three I don't care what anyone pipes. else says. Come on! I hope he doesn't get Let's bullied. Let's see if old Soggy can pick up the bad guy's scent. This is where I want to be emotionally. <laughs> here you go, boy. Emotionally, I am here. Come on, Luther. We've got a bad guy to catch. Egyptian lion type theme. I love that kind of stuff. A jewel! I'm gonna be rich, rich, rich! You can put the jewel back, and we can catch that thief. <laughs> Old Soggy, 
You go on ahead and track that shell thief. We'll meet you back at the center of town as soon as we can. Okay, let's go check out. Wow, they just have these sitting around. I'd love to go to one of these types of things. Okay, um, I came from there. Let's go up here. Chisel. This next this one. Go up here. Chisel. It's a chisel. I should hold on to this. <laughs> it might come in handy. could loosen that crystal. This might set off another trap. But I've got to try everything to get Luther out. This crystal sure gives off a lot of green light. Well, that's satisfying. That might come in very handy. Yeah. Hey, the crystal yeah. grew back. Crystals are. <laughs> they don't probably even have currency in this game. I'd love to go on one of these expeditions where you can like go to places and try to dig up your own jewels and stuff. That was oh, I would think that's so awesome. This beautiful red crystal sure gives off a I lot didn't of light. Check what the crystal color was supposed to be, which I should have done, but. That could come in very handy. Now we get to take some out with us. <laughs> Exercising my face with my, 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 my movements. <laughs> it's like, or do you want wrinkles? Okay, um, you know, it's the R word. From this blue crystal. That could come in handy. It could. Could make you really rich. It's very pretty. Maybe I'll do a podcast from there. And you don't know what thought that was from, but you know, I'm just getting deep in my head right there. Random room. Like my brain. Um, let's see. And this way. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Oh, it's gotta be green. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to keep one of the green crystals. This crystal oh, looks I won't like be it will it, fit here. That's my favorite color. Oh, I just—I'm gonna be buying so many crystals. And just learning about so much witchcraft and stuff at my new job. I'm so excited! It's like my best job I've ever had it so far. I'll bet that's the key I need to get Luther out. Yippee! I got it! Hee <laughs> hee! Happy, happy, happy to the end. It's not how you dance to it at all, but, you know. I don't know any of the real ways to. Yes! Luther! I'm free! <laughs> Let's 
Put Get that jewel out. back. You're falling again. Look, Luther. The thief must have dropped this bag. Hmm. <gasps> Looks like we can solve this case. Come on. I hear came two for this. Disappointed my old silver-haired granny will be if not snapshot I bring back from festival. And now, for the first time ever, the show won't go on. It's all Uncle Blenny's fault. I'm gonna give that bum a piece of my mind. Stop! Uncle Blenny is innocent. <gasps> The thief dropped this bag. When we looked inside, we found a visitor's map, which means the thief is... A map. Oh, it's him, but I don't want the it to be him. evidence shows I want to just press that the people thief... To Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Nadine the Narwhal? A thief? What an utterly preposterous idea. Why, if you weren't so little and green and cute, I, I, never speak to you again. Gee, if it wasn't Nadine, then who's the thief? Let's press on him next, as we'll see what they'll Wait say. Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Gil Barker? No, I'm afraid you're barking up the wrong tree, half pint. Now get a move on, get out of the way before you ruin my whole business day. Gee, if it wasn't Gil, then who's the thief? Wait a minute. Could the thief think. possibly be Claw the Bully? Too obvious. Oh, no! The Claw ain't gonna get pinched for something he didn't do. I'm clean, I tell ya. Right down to my underwear. Gee, <laughs> if it wasn't Claw, then who's the thief? Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly be Rosie Pearl? I got a watertight alibi. I was on stage when the crime was committed, and every fish in the audience will vouch for me. Gee, if it wasn't Rosie, then who's the thief? And try him last. Wait a minute. Could the thief possibly Look at him just sitting there the whole Pierre time, the like. <laughs> I am Pierre the Taylor. Pierre the genius. Not Pierre's a common crook, you silly little green fish. Gee, if it wasn't Pierre, then who's the thief? Yeah. Four spiders. You're the thief. That map of a visitor belong could to anybody. You have on me nothing. Hey! Oh, no? <sighs> Smells it on him. Okay. Maybe something on me you do have. Confess, I must. I didn't want it to be I this guy. I would it not it make a great souvenir. Also make a great hearing guy. aid for my old silver-haired granny. I had no idea had it was so valuable. It doesn't matter whether the conch is valuable or not. You should never take things that don't belong to you. And I'm sure your old silver-haired granny would agree with me. Forgive, please, my action. Horst is most sorry. I return you to the great coach. Uncle Blenny, we're sorry we blamed you. That's okay. I'm still the grand, exalted keeper of the conch, thanks to Freddy and Luther. <laughs> oh, and old Chucky. Gosh, what can I ever do to thank you? Just do your duty. Oh, Grand Exalted Keeper of the Conch. Because he stole the great conch for his granny, Horst was convicted on a 525 granny larceny. As punishment, Horst was sentenced to write a new foreign language phrase book that wasn't nearly as silly as the one he had on this trip. Case closed. <laughs> And that's how they deal with all the the crime in the under the sea in an alternate universe. Well, yep, you gotta love it. You just gotta love it. 
you just gotta love it. It's so wholesome. Yeah. Um, I'll edit out a few parts that were, yeah, I don't want to tell you that. Um, yeah, out of all my games, I'll give this one... Out of computer cereal box games, I'll give this one like a seven. Yeah, it's, it's a good seven. Um, what else do I say at the end of this? Oh yeah, you know, uh, Thanks for watching, you guys. I think I'm getting a little better with the videos and stuff, a little bit let off, less awkward. I thought that just playing a lot of these like old games will kind of just help me get out of my shell, and I'll be able to do more legit things on YouTube rather than just entertaining, you know, just pixelated games and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Be sure to subscribe down below. Um, and leave a like on it. I know it does something, but I don't know what it does really. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, <laughs> once I can figure out how to get all my, all my discs to work, because it takes a process between each one. Okay, thanks, bye!